it, it, the lies now are becoming so blatant and so transparent that it's embarrassing. You're insulting our intelligence by lying and saying things like, it, with every atrocity that we see, and we're seeing a lot, every week we're seeing a, a new level of barbar barbarism and brutality and, and cruelty and murder, and, 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 and it's being justified by our leaders on both sides of the house. It's being condoned and justified by the media. And, and, and I find that the most discouraging part of this because, you know, it, 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 it just the blatant lies like, with every, with every atrocity, the, the justification is, well, Israel has the right to defend itself. That's a lie. That's a lie. They, they actually technically do not have the right to defend themselves against people that are holding prisoners. But let's say they are. Let's say they do have the right to defend themselves. It's still a lie. You know, dropping 2,000 pound bombs on civilian population is not self-defense. Those bombs are meant to destroy an entire city block. How's that self-defense? I don't believe it. It's a lie. Stop lying to us. Dropping chemical weapons on a refugee camp several times. Refugee camp with women, children, and the elderly. An illegal chemical weapon sold to, to them to, to, to commit these crimes. That's not self-defense. That is, you know, killing, intentionally killing aid workers and then denying it and then admitting it when the evidence is overwhelming is not self-defense. Killing over a hundred journalists. What is that? How's that self-defense? Don't lie to us anymore. We are not that stupid. We are not that stupid. Please stop lying. And, 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 and the other thing is that really upsets me personally. And I think it's just smells of pure white supremacy and racism is when they constantly, when I constantly hear, oh, these attacks on October 7th were unprovoked attacks. Anyone who says that, in my opinion, is either completely ignorant or they're, or, or they're lying. They're lying. Or, or, or they're actually completely have de dehumanized the Palestinians. They no, they no longer see them as human beings, that they cannot see the atrocities committed against them for almost a century. That, that, that is disgusting, I think, and, and, and we have to make our media and our leaders accountable. Only, only uh, last week, our, our Prime Minister, shamefully, who has a history of standing up for the downtrodden, who has marched for the Palestinians, he has, he, he, because power corrupts, and so he stood up in Parliament and said, enough is enough. Enough is enough. I, you know, you assume he was talking about the genocide and the brutality, and, and but no, he was saying enough is enough about the the protesters, the protesters around the country, the youth of today. Shame. Shame. And, you know, you can you can understand uh, someone like Peter Dutton, you know, white supremacist fascist, saying having these views, but but when our prime minister says that, it's very discouraging and disheartening. But I tell you something, what is, what is encouraging to me is watching the youth of today, the young people who are risking their university degrees, who are risking their futures and bravely protesting in Australia and around the world. Yes, Please. The, the, the youth in the world have always transcended media. They have transcended corrupt governments and have been the voice of consciousness. Throughout history, it's the youth who have ignored the powers that be, the corruption and the, and the racism and the brutality, and said, no, we, we are, we are the, the, the conscience of humanity is with the youth. It was with Vietnam. It was with South African apartheid. I know it's been said before, but let's not forget how, how influential the youth movement is throughout history, the, the civil rights movement. It wasn't the media, it wasn't, it wasn't the politicians, it was the youth in great numbers who came together and, and, and I think, and I'm sorry Mr. Albanese that your, that your staff were inconvenienced going into their office, but there's a holocaust occurring as we speak. Thank you very much.